Hi, it's Lee and welcome to the Tesla Economist. The CEO of Tesla has found something shiny and new and distracted him from his former trillion dollar baby. The stock price is plummeting and he is far more focused on playing around with a social media company. When some people come into a bit of money, they buy themselves a hobby, like a fishing boat, to keep them amused. Well, what if you had around a quarter of a trillion dollars and super yachts aren't your thing or won't work well with your public image? Perhaps you need a little more than a weekend fishing trip for excitement. Perhaps you need to buy the core of the media and have fun with that. Twitter and Elon are in the headlines everywhere with all the mainstream media. Lots of bad press for Elon and by association, Elon's ventures. Ironically, so many readers discover these headlines on Twitter. The media are bad mouthing Elon, but he gives them a platform to do so. In my opinion, Elon has not yet crossed any lines or boundaries from any of his antics. Everything is done, he has justified with the good of humanity. Twitter has become a fascist platform. And as Elon says, Twitter is the global town square and it's important to maintain equal freedom of speech. So Elon has invested a fortune into it. He's now liberating or setting the bird free. In my opinion, Twitter is a piece of cake. The site is not overly complex. One good coder could build it themselves in a few months. Then perhaps some other coders working on some algorithms and others on spam and bots. Then a good server support team. The entire business could be run by fewer than 100 people in my opinion. But the Twitter business model isn't great. It's advertising. And then you are somewhat at the mercy of your advertisers. They may want to persuade you somewhat with their big budgets in how you influence people. The business model is what it is. And the self-interest is not pointing at the benefit of the user. Or as they say, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. And Elon has already made a payable option, a new revenue stream, but it's still not going to be enough. Even if there were 10 million people paying, then it's not even a billion dollars a year coming in. We can imagine all sorts of progress that we might see as the app finally has someone who can evolve it. And it's not being drowned in politics. No doubt more video uploads, a high possibility I might also use it as a platform for my videos if they start paying publishers more. Right. Twitter doesn't really pay people for all the effort they make. You have to use the platform to try and upsell some other product or service. Yet many people, especially in the Tesla community, share their research and thoughts for no financial incentive, but merely the kudos of receiving likes and more followers. Of course, there is the TikTok bandwagon that other platforms have tried to copy like YouTube Shorts or Facebook Reels. They've seen how insanely popular that social media interaction is or addictive is likely a better description. So no doubt Twitter will have its own version. And then you can follow all your favorite official celebrities or affiliations and scroll through all their daily short videos. Twitter's network is highly valuable if it can be monetized somehow. And there is talk of Twitter becoming this everything app with similar features as companies like WeChat, but I think less to do with WeChat's instant messaging and more to do with their mobile payment system. We've even heard Elon recently mention his overall plan he had for PayPal that he was never able to execute. This might be the platform to do it. WeChat Pay is a mobile payment digital wallet to make mobile payments and online transactions. There are various ways this could be achieved. We don't know entirely Elon's plans, but it may likely be a lower cost way of transacting and could potentially cut out credit card companies, commissions, and maybe even the banks. I'm not sure if it'd be crypto based, but if it is, I would almost certainly say it won't be Dogecoin and more likely Bitcoin's lightning network. Elon might turn Twitter into some sort of bank and this is where the real money is. The rest of the business is to build the network. The financial industry is the most profitable industry in the world by far. Then there'll be other sorts of add-ons and services like Elon talking about the ability to just read one article on Reuters or Wall Street Journal without having to subscribe to the publication, but simply pay per article. Something I would think I would pay for regularly. Yes, Elon's in the headlines everywhere right now, and whether the articles are negative to Elon or not, there appears to be no such thing as bad publicity. And as a result, Twitter activity appears to have reached an all time high. And it certainly seems more fun getting to actually vote on things that make a difference and following through with the results. In the long run, all the negative side of this publicity will be forgotten. And all people remember is Elon and Twitter. This is what Elon told us what happened to Tesla. Tons of negativity, even things like FSD fatalities, all in the press. But when the time came for consumers to buy an electric car, all they could remember 
was the word Tesla, and not the fact that a Tesla caught fire once. And eventually, when the dust settles, this publicity will no doubt proliferate eventually to Tesla too. The cost of such publicity is the initial hit in the stock price. In the long run, it just means more brand recognition and a more renowned CEO. Twitter is new and exciting for Elon, but like I said, it's not overly complex. Elon just needs to put a few key people in the right position with a good direction, and the company should take care of itself. There are no new breakthrough technologies that need to be created, like reusable rockets, self-driving cars, or revolutionary new batteries. All the technology already exists, and it just needs to be coded. And it's not even that hard. The previous owners had not set the bar particularly high, and had fallen far behind the latest technology and features. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit. Inevitably, Twitter will also serve as an advertising medium for Tesla. Tesla were never going to go by traditional means of advertising. They would, of course, always do something different. But Elon vertically integrating the advertising by promoting Tesla through one of his own companies. Twitter can use certain algorithms, perhaps, to determine what Tesla owners have in common. Perhaps Elon can even do surveys to find out more about their target market and potential consumers. From there, he can target the most likely consumers and serve them ads or perhaps break them down into various segments and serve specific ads to that segment. Perhaps an ice lover needs to realize the benefits of electric over internal combustion. Perhaps the frugal consumer needs to understand the cost savings of electric. And perhaps the family man needs to know about the safety of a Tesla. Of course, it would be unlikely that any other advertiser would get such attention to helping them serve ads to their users and would also be concerned about sharing too much information to their advertisers. Whereas in this case, I don't think Elon would mind. Then the possibility that the Twitter app may even integrate with the Robotaxi app. What a combination. A highly profitable business model linked to a massive network of customers on an app already. Yes, Elon's Twitter moves have damaged Tesla's stock price tremendously, perhaps taken as much as 20% off the value of the company, including all the selling necessary, not just the recent selling, but all the selling previously too. But eventually the market will recover that, and then Elon will put Twitter in good hands and with a new competent CEO who shares Elon's vision and can execute successfully. Elon may even float Twitter back on the market and rebuy into Tesla. Then Elon can return his concentration back to Tesla and SpaceX. Although there's always the possibility that if Elon is able to spend this much time on focusing on Twitter, then it means that Tesla is already in great hands and everything is going well enough without as much involvement from Elon. I would say in the long run, perhaps a year or so, Twitter may end up being of benefit to Tesla whether through the publicity or the way it may actually complement the future of Tesla. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.